Okay, after being asked about the construction details of the Libra hardware laptop, I particularly wanted to go over how these parts are joined together. Um, this is the most recent addition, recent modification. You can see uh, this is the left hand edge and I've had to put a screw hole in here so there's a small hole in this piece um, on a rectangular part that goes into a slot here. Um, this is one of the few places in the main construction where I don't know if you can see the lines going along the 3D plastic so this comes in from the side but fortunately um, all of the pull is going to be on there. This basically is to stop this this part from bending outwards which would cause uh, the bamboo panels that are slotted in here to fall out and also the keyboard um, the keyboard um, would also drop out if this came away. Now this one here is uh, one that's not been modified yet and you can see clearly that um, that's uh, dropping out. Let me just grab the other part. Yeah, here we go. Uh, this is the replacement for this side and you can see there's a, a hole in there which uh, will be for the part that you can hear in the printing in the background. Um, that goes on there. Um, this, this here is a triple sandwich the screw coming through from the top so that's why this part here is so thin because these are eight millimeter screws um, so it goes through through that part and then into the base underneath the left hand side is slightly different um, this is actually um, slotting into this so this is like a uh, there's a compartment um, that's slotting in there um, and then the screw hole comes through the through the uh, through the top of this, top of the touch panel part, and that goes on there nicely like this. Um, I placed <laughs> screw holes on here and here. Um, the touch panel part holds the left and the right pieces together. And inside, I don't, I don't know if you can, I uh, don't think it's clear, visible, because it's underneath, but there is like a, 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 a groove um, in here, and then there's a corresponding um, slot. So the touch panel part actually comes down to a, to a depth of um, an, you know, an extra like four or five millimeters below this. So it's reasonably sturdy in itself, so that that doesn't bend too much. I'm putting on quite a lot of um, uh, pressure on that to make it bend. Um, this <laughs> this base middle part, you can see it's slotted left and right, slotted into there, and then there's two screws. Now I'm not actually certain that those two screws are needed, and I'm going to find out later by actually removing them and then try and flexing this about again. Um, but I think similar with this you can see that that's got a screw screw hole in there and I think actually the indentation itself is enough to keep the, the the thing from moving main reason for putting that screw in the first place was to stop twisting about here but I reckon it turns out that just having that indentation in there is sufficient right because this screw stops the th it for, you know keeps these two parts from being able to twist backwards and forwards like this um, so that can't go like that so I think I think the same principle applies here because of the, um, the pressure from 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 here um, which is which I think is good um, this part is a bit of a weak point um, you can see um, there's stepping on here this this part is um, uh, 14 mil wide here but it's uh, about um, uh, nearly, nearly three centimeters, thirty millimeter here, um, and there's a step. There's a, a step point in there, and then there's two screws in here. But you can see those two screws are indented down, so it's uh, forty mil from there to there. But on the other side, um, where is it? 
uh, you can see it's like it's stepped. So that so what I'm thinking of doing is oh yeah <laughs> is when I put the camera back. <laughs> um, you can see this bends a heck of a lot. Um, that's not really acceptable. So I'm probably uh, going to have to expand these wing parts out to about here. Um, when the similar similar way to like the similar principle to this one here, where you can see that the the stepping is all the way from there to there, and that's that's fine. Um, it, uh, these these two screws are basically too close together, so by bringing one of them out to here, we'll get a um, you know lever lever effect, and that won't be so much flexing about like that. Um, This is the top left hand corner and uh, it's where all the, 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 there's a lot of fun going on here. Um, these are the two pieces that fit together. Um, the cable has to fit in here and just make sure it doesn't uh, clamp but um, it has to be um, clamped on by the bolt without, without um, uh, pinching the cable and without um, stressing too much and the things. So what I've done is I've arranged um, a, a a piece at the top and the bottom of the channel that's, that the cable is in, so that will fit in uh, it, it fit in there. Um, and uh, then there is an indentation in here which this these two pieces match into. You can see the. Uh, that, that bit sticking out but also a little bit on there that, uh, that goes into that and um, when that's on when that's on and clamped down there's no way that that moves about um, it won't uh, won't twist like this about the about the bolt just won't this is the whole point is you mustn't have these two pieces moving about and twisting about the about the bolt I think, uh, okay. now um, so 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 yeah basically there's you know, interlock uh, f into this piece, and there's interlock into that piece there um, from this from this one. So they're both interlock with each other, and the same principle applies um, uh, here. Um, you have one part that interlocks into that groove there, and then this part interlocks into there. Um, Ta-da! Right, and again doesn't move doesn't move about so there's no creaking if somebody picks the laptop at the corner like this and stresses the whole thing you know, because of the whole thing it doesn't go creak as the plastic um, uh, just won't um, move about um, yeah that fits in there that fits in there um, that locks on there uh, this part this part you can see goes into a little slot there. Um, so when that's um, it's assembled, let's see if I can put it reasonably together without falling apart too much. Dum -da -dum -da -dum. Come on! Come on! On you go! <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Oh, I haven't cleared that piece. Ah, damn it. Sorry, I haven't. I think, there's a blooming nuisance with these uh, with these 3D printers. Is that um, you, you need to put a scalpel knife. This is quite delicate stuff, and it's um, right. Okay, okay, that's the one that I've cleaned up. So that one goes on perfectly. Um, this one goes on perfectly, um, and then at the uh, at the back, here's a piece that just fits along the top here. All right, so and then the end of this piece, which is the bit there that fits into there all right and the PCB fits into this area here um, that, this piece is where the K 
keyboard uh, keyboard fits on like that at the back. All right, so that key the keyboard goes on. And there are there are a couple of clips there. And uh, on the, you see these pieces, the keyboard slots into those, and a couple of little little grooves in there, and uh, and that's what locks the keyboard into place. So yeah, I think that's uh, that's basically it. Um, the modifications that I made involving uh, the corners here where my right thumb is and left thumb that means that uh, the whole thing the whole thing you can see there's a screw screw holes in there so there's a middle brace going all the way along here which stops the stops these left and right edges from bending um, I'm sure, I don't know if you can see bend 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 that's a heck of a lot um, you obviously wouldn't be doing that on a laptop but if it's just securing at this point here from being able to bend and flex like that it makes sure that the whole thing um, can't be pulled apart uh, all the panels and everything stay together so yeah uh, that's basically it um, it's uh, uh, started out a little bit overly complex and is uh, slowly being whittled down to something that's much more simple thank you